in this section we are going to learn about object sets we have seen almost entire thing in object now only thing is object sets object maps and object iterables iterable as i already told you that we are going to study once we learn about all the loops so in this session let's understand about sets so basically we don't call it as object set but we just call as a set so in javascript a set is nothing but it is a collection of unique values what i mean by that whatever values it is going to collect it will be unique okay the values will not repeat and each value can have only one occurrence in the set which is why our set becomes unique and it will be holding only unique values whatever values we are having that will be occurring only once and it can hold value of any data type which means it can store strings it can store numbers it can store arrays it can store objects any data type the value can be stored and these are some of the methods in object set we have new set which will be creating our new set adding it will add the value delete it will delete the value has it will check whether that element is present inside that set or not clear will be clearing our complete set for each we can print the values using this loop we have values keys entries and this size is the property in our strings also we have seen we have one property called length but in this set we have the property called size this all the methods and this property we are going to see it practically i will just open my vs code editor now i have opened my vs code editor inside this i have written one comment object set and this is a tutorial 42 here before moving to object set let me just create one array okay till now we have not learned about array but if you are having basic understanding of array like we will be creating arrays like this one i will give one two three and here i will be giving my name and then again i can just write here two i will write here five okay i have just collected some uh, arrays data i will just write here log i will just print here array i will save this now i got this result now if you notice here two is repeating two times even then in array we are having this value and size is 6 1 2 3 4 5 okay it is counting duplicate values as well but in our set it will not be counting duplicate values so first let's start with creating set uh, i will just write here create set i will just create my new set i'm just going to create one variable my new set we will be creating like this using new keyword dot set i will save this now nothing is displayed let me just print this one my new set i will save now you can see set size is 0 and it is nothing but it is an object because you can see here we are having curly braces just to know the type of that you can just write here type of my new set that will be an object okay what we are going to do using set we will be displaying only the unique values now inside this set if i just pass my name i will save this now what it will be doing it will be taking individual values and it will be storing as an element you can see here i am having the value as an element and it will be stored in individual manner and here you can see a is repeating two times but it has taken only one time and size also is 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 now i'll just print the size my new set 
my new set dot size i will save this you can see the size is 5 so now if i just remove one a from here not a let me just remove n I will save this. Now I will get the size as 4. Okay, this is how what we are going to do. We are just, this is how we are creating our new set and we are storing individual values. And our set is nothing but it is an object and size will be giving the number of elements present inside that set. Now I just want to add some more elements inside that. I will write my new set dot add. I just want to add one number. I can add the number. I will save this. Now again, I'm just going to copy and here I will display. You can see here when I open this one, here I'm having this number. But before adding the numbers, let me tell you now if I just want to access this. So using index number, we can access the elements inside array 0, 1, 2 and 3. So I can just write here 3. I will save this. I will get the result. But in set, this values cannot be accessed using index number. But here you can see these numbers, but we cannot access that using index number. Now here if I just write index number 2, I will save this. I will be getting as undefined. So difference between set and arrays is arrays can hold duplicate data. But set cannot hold duplicate data, it will hold only unique data. In arrays, data can be accessed using index number, but in set, data cannot be accessed using index number. Okay, that you should be very, very careful. Now, uh, what I have done here, while creating set, I have added one name and that name is divided into individual elements. Now here, if I just add like this, let me just remove this one. I will comment it out. Now, now here if I add another name, Sanya. I will save this. Now inside this what happens? When I am adding this one, I should be adding individual elements. If I add Sanya here, it will be taking as one complete element. This name will not be divided into individual elements. Now when I open, you can see. This will be taken as one complete element. But while creating set, when I add this one, it will be divided into individual elements. But when I am adding this and I am adding one complete name, then that will be taken as one complete element. So inside this 6, Sanya is completely stored. But for Khanam, you can see individual letters, I am having this one. And here you can see A and A is repeating. But still, it is, it is displayed because it is considering that as one element. Now again, if I just add Sanya, it will not be displayed. Okay, only one time it will be displayed. Complete name should be match. It is not like inside this I can have multiple A's. Even then, that will be added. I will save this. Now both will be added because both are different. This understanding you should be having. When we are creating set and we are adding this one, then this will be taken as individual elements. But after creating set, when we are adding elements, this completely it will be taken as one element, one single element. It will not be treated as individual elements. Now the same thing if I just paste here, you can see it will be taken as individual elements. Sanya, this A will not be repeated multiple times. I will just get this values. Okay, I hope you understood this one. Now I will just remove that. Now inside this, I just want to delete this. I will copy. I will write here delete. Before that, let me just print this one. I will copy this my console. Paste and here also I am just going to paste. I will save this. Now inside this set you can see the set size is 7. Okay, here the value is not getting displayed because here I have already deleted Sanya. But inside this you can see size is 7 but after deleting size is 6. So you should be very careful. You should not get confused. After adding when I am printing the value is not there because I have deleted here. Now again if I just remove this. Now you can see both the sizes will be 7. 
and when I open the value will also be present here. But as soon as I delete this one, for first one I will get the size as 7 but here the value will not be displayed. But inside this the value will not be displayed and size is 6. Okay, this is the basic difference. Now next is has. Now inside this has. Okay, before that let me just show you about clear. It will be removing all the elements from the set. I will just write here lock and inside this my new set dot clear. I will save this. Now I will copy this one. I will paste it here. Now you can see set size is equal to 0 and here I am having size is 0. Okay, this is how we are just going to display this one. Now here I am getting undefined because now here when I just click on undefined, what I have done, I have just printed this entire thing. So I will just remove this console from here. Now I will save this. I will come to console. Now my set is 0 and size is 0. Whatever elements I was having inside the set that is being cleared off. So my set size is 0. I will just comment it out. Now next we are having this for each. Okay, looping iterables we have not seen. But I will just show you a simple example. I will be showing you both using for of and using for each loop. So I will save this. Now my set is having these values. I will just write here for and inside this I will create one variable x of my new set and inside this I just want to display x log x. I will save this. You can see all the values will be displayed like this. Okay. In individual way the values will be displayed. Now my x will be having the first value that is k in from this set. So first k will be printed again it will loop now x will be holding the value second value that is h again x will be printed it keeps on looping and whatever values we are having inside my new set that will be displayed like this now in the same way for each also we are having the same thing my new set dot for each and inside this we will be passing one parameter we are going to write like this and here I am just going to display y. I will just remove this log and here I will write y. I will save. Again ok the values the output will be same. Because we are just using the loops and we are printing the same data. So the output will also be the same. Ok this is how we are just going to loop the values and we are just printing that values. Now next we have this values. It will return an iterator with all the values in the set. And for keys also same as values because in objects we have already seen whatever values we give that will be in key value pairs or property value we call as name value pairs or key value pairs and those keys are called as properties. But in this set we do not have any property, we do not have any keys. So whatever result we get for values the same result we get for keys and it will be returning an iterator. Let me show you an example. I will just write here log and inside this I am just going to write here my new set dot values. I will save this. My new set is not defined. Okay, I just write here set. I will save. Now you can see it will be returning an set iterator. And whatever values I am having inside my set that will be returning. Again the same thing if I just display here for keys. I will save this. I will be getting the same result. Because in set we do not have any keys. So whatever result we get for values the same result we get for keys. Now if you just want to loop this inside for each or for off loop that also you can just do. I will just create one variable let text or let uh, uh, z is equal to empty and inside this I am just going to use for of loop and here I will be creating one data let a let a of 
my new set dot values okay i'm just using this for off loop what i have done i am just accessing this inside this whatever values i am having in first second third fourth i am just storing inside a and i just want to display a i will copy i will paste i will just write here a i will save this you can see the same values whatever value i got for for off loop and for each loop the same values i will be getting here okay the same thing when i just write for keys i will paste it here keys i will save this again i will be getting the same result okay for off loop what we are doing we are just looping through each values and we are printing the data for each also we are doing the same thing and here also using this values and using this keys we will be getting the same result so whichever you want you can just use that one but in this entries what we will be getting it also returns an iterator but with the value value pair from a set now here my value is k so i will be getting k comma k then h comma h a comma a that kind the data will be displayed now here i'll just write log and inside this first i will just write here my new set my new set dot entries i will save this you can see i will be getting k and then k then h and then h then a a n a okay like this i will be displaying the data but it is also returning a set iterator now same thing i will copy i will paste and here i am just going to write entries i will save this you can see i will be getting this result k comma k h comma h a comma a m comma m and what is this it is nothing but it will it is just returning the size this length it will be returning this length this is 2 now this will be considered as an array now this i can just access using the index number i will just come here and here i just want to display zeroth index i will save this for each zeroth index i will be getting the value once element are treated as an array that we can access using index number but inside set we cannot access the values using the index number this is all about set what we have done we have just created the new set and we have seen all the methods inside the sets just practice this one i am not telling this will be used very much but in your project here and there this basic knowledge will be very important we will be able to build our projects with more ease without giving much stress to ourselves because we are already aware of this basic knowledge this is all about sets next we are going to learn about object maps